everyone. So in today's lesson, we are going to be doing multiplication, a traditional method versus a common core. Um, also in today, we are going to be doing a problem that is typically within the fourth grade level. So let's go ahead and get started. On the left side, we are going to do the traditional. Uh, if you want to just skip over to the common core, I posted down below of what time uh, that one starts. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and do 35 times 12. All right, so in traditional method, how we do it is we actually just start with our ones, multiply from right to left, and then we'll go from our tens and multiply with our ones and our tens. So let's go ahead and do that. So two times five is 10. Because it is a number above nine, we're gonna put the zero from the ones down below. And we're gonna carry the one on top into our tens place. From there, we're gonna take two times three, which is six, but we still have this guy up here, so we need to add him. So six plus one, which makes it seven. And we are now done with our two. Moving on to our tens place, one times five is five, but that's in our tens place. So we actually need to make a filler because down here is our ones. So we're gonna go ahead and do a filler as zero. And then one times five is five. We no longer need this little guy. One times three is three. And we go ahead and do our next step. Our next step would be to add straight down, or our final step, I should say. So zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus five is 12. So again, a number above nine. So we need to put the two down below in our ones. And then our one for our 12, carry it over to the next place. One plus three is four. And so 35 times 12 is 420. And that is how we get our answer the traditional way. So a lot quicker, it took me what, a little under two minutes to do that. So now over here, we are going to do the common core way. So again, let's do the same problem. We have 35 times 12 and we're trying to find our answer. So step one, what we would like to do is go ahead and break down 35 times 12. So we're gonna break down 35 with our ones and our tens. So the three is in our tens, which is 30, and our five is in our ones. So we're gonna break it down. We're gonna do the same thing with 12. We're gonna break down 12. So one is in our tens place, two is in our ones place. And that is the end of step one. So we're simplifying it from there. Step two is we're gonna go ahead and create a box. A pretty good sized box, it doesn't need to be perfect. And I like to complete our box. And then what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna place these down below. So we have 35, so we have our 30 and our five, our tens and our ones. And then we have our 10 and our two. And we're going to be adding everything at the end of the day. But it's still a multiplication problem. So we are going to be multiplying. So we're going to be multiplying our 10 to our 30, our 10 to our 5. Then we're going to be multiplying our 2 to our 30 and our 2 to our 5. So let's go ahead and do that. So 30 times 10 is 300. 10 times 5 is 50. 30 times two is 60. Five times two is 10. All right, now that we have all of our boxes completely filled out, we're gonna go ahead and go to step three. So step three, we're gonna bring everything that's in the purple out and we wanna add everything up. And the best way to do that is to add it all up straight down. So we have 300. And I like to cross them off as we go. I, we have 50. Doesn't matter the order that we put it down in. We have 60. And we have 10. All right. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and add this. So we're going to start all the way in the ones column. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 6 plus 1 is 12. It's a number above 9. So we're going to put the 2 down below. We're going to carry the 1. 3 plus 1 is 
four. So our answer, 420, we can put it up here, 35 times 12 is 420. And that matches the same as over here with the traditional. It's just better breakdown for students to understand. And that is common core versus traditional with multiplication. If you have any other problems or anything else that you want me to solve, put it down below in the comments and I'd love to make a video on that as well. All right, have a great day.